Hello friends, Dapper Drabby here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and open up a three-pack blister we found of Ultra Prism. We finally found the uh, Porygon Z guys, as you can see, with the Initialize and Zap Cannon. This guy's no stranger, I think he was uh, made way back in uh, Burning Shadows, and this is an alternate art form of him. You can see he's going through the digital wave there, and... He's kind of interesting. He kind of acts like he'll kind of be the new Espeon probably when Espeon rotates. Um, is my best guess of what will happen with him. Like, he, he's not the best way to de-evolve Pokemon. But he is a way of de-evolving Pokemon. It's just he takes, you know, three bench spots in order to do so. And if you want to do it multiple times in a game, you have to... Uh, you know, unevolve him and then re-evolve him. So, you know, just, you know, playing an EX and popping an energy on it is just way easier, so everybody does that instead. But we're going to finally get it open, you know. This is no adorable, adorable uh, Vulpix, but, you know, it's still a card that's worth uh, looking into. And, you know, it adds to that, that promo collection that everybody loves to kind of have and I can't get this out there we go there we go pop it out just so gently and what is this is it another it looks like it's another Dialga coin actually which you know my lighting's really bad right now so you guys can't really see but if I do that you can kind of see the crystalness of it do I have my light on I do have my light on okay so it's just that it's you guys can kind of see it, and I blare out the camera. So yeah, it's another Dialga coin. So you just can play your Dialga GX with it. And it's a little boated, of course, but uh, here's that Porygon Z. What better view of it? That's a really cool art form of it. So I'm guessing that if it does eventually see play, this might be the more popular version. Of course, most of the promos from these things aren't super popular. Um, we saw the alternate art of the Glissopod and the uh, alternate art of the uh, Delmise recently, and that those didn't really change too much either. I guess let's make a sandwich. So it's like, what's what Domingue's pack is best? I actually feel like this one's a little better, so we'll see how wrong I am by opening this one up first. I know I'm, I'm trying to <coughs> front load a bunch of Ultra Prism here. Um, but we'll, we'll, I'm just trying, uh, to open up stuff that's more current. I know that Lucario box is coming out soon, and that's probably where everyone's going to be taking their views for a few days, because there's a lot of people getting that. Um, we're going to guess a fairy energy, because it usually is a fairy energy. And it was a fairy energy. Now, this is not going to really focus. That's actually the best I've ever seen it focus on a dark type. So we have that stunky. I'm actually having a skunk problem right now where I live. Where that gas is just bonding to my doors and smelling like skunk every time I walk outside of the door in the morning. I think it's because it's getting warmer. You know, they're trying to find a spot to lay low. And uh, <laughs> so we have a Dewbiter, Gibble, Murkrow, um, Sherum. Getting rid of that grass weakness. Magneton. Uh, Orangaroo Resource Management, that guy is seeing some play. Snover, the Ice Shard Reverse is a rare Hippowdon. It's not bad. And, <laughs> and, so this was a very, very good pickup, guys. Um, wow. Talk about a pickup. Ring the bell if you guys like that. Um, sorry, Hippowdon, you don't even deserve to go on this is a amazing pull i don't need to open up anything else so i was completely wrong that's how good of a guesser i am because so i'm like i think this pack has nothing in it that's how good of a guesser i am the probably the most sought after card in the set and this one's actually the centering on it's a little it's a little more on top than on bottom. But, oh man, this is a beautiful card. It's hardly noticeable on the front, though. So let's see if I have a, a, a top loader here that doesn't have something fancy already in it. Oh my gosh, I'm finding all my old 
like really good cards because I have them over there in the top loaders. Wow, what a beautiful card. So yeah, that's something I am immediately throwing in a top loader because it's an expensive card. So good thing I didn't open this on a on a whim um off camera. Wow. Well, what a beautiful card. So it doesn't even matter what's in these two guys. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what's in these two guys. So we'll, <laughs> we'll just open them and, and see what's inside. So here's a code for you guys there. If you guys want one, go ahead and take an Ultra Prism code. I know it's blurry, but it's going to stay blurry. So go ahead and put that there. One, two, three. The energy is fire, because I never guess fire. Ah, oh, it's close. It's grass. It's grass. So we're going to start things off with that Sherubi. It is crocheted. I like that art that they're doing. The Young Goose, the Skorupian Love, that Snuggly Generator making it all toasty in here. Chimchar with the Flare, Gabites, Ascension, Manaphy trying to stay out of that wormhole, running away as quick as possible. Grottle. A reverse is a grotto, double grotto. Look at these twins. These turtle twins. And our rare is a salazzle. Dazzle. Except that is the dazzle card right there. That is a beautiful card. Man. Man, what a pull. What a pull. What a pull. Um, let's see if this last Dawn Wings pack has anything in it. One, two, three. Energy. Metal. I'm guessing metal energy. Ah, oh, it's fighting. And I don't know if I flash anything. We'll see. We'll see. We see. We're gonna start with that coin flip. You know, hypnosis. Is he staying asleep? We don't know. Yanma with the super speed evolutionary advantage. Shinx the Alolan Diglett with the iron head. The roaring Alolan Vulpix. There's three of them. Three times the roar. Yen Mega with the supersonic. That's an evolution. We had the. Yenma and then Yen Mega cutting that wind. Owning the place. That's, that's, I own the place. Uh, per ugly. A skun tank with that sticky smoke screen. Reverse is an Alolan Executor. Oh, I'm so glad to have that card. So glad to have that card. I really wanted to play this for so bad long. And our rare is a Dawnwings Necrozma. Man, double hit. A double hit. A triple hit, I think. I wanted a Lolan Executor too, and I have not found it anywhere. So now I can start playing a Dawn Wings Necrozma deck. Maybe I can throw in a couple Silvales for that free retreat. But I want to make like a Dawn Wings similar to a Keldeo deck. So, wow, wow, double hits. And I really like this card too. I never got to read this card yet, so let me read it. Alolan, ex or Alolan Executor. Okay, we'll start at the top like you're supposed to. Stage one, Alolan Executor. Evolve some Execute. Uh, number 103, the Coconut Pokemon. Height, th uh, 35 feet and 9 inches. Sorry, it is all blurry. Um, and it's 916 pounds. Executor's Paradise. For each of your bench Execute, search your deck for an Alolan Executor or an Alolan Executor GX and put it onto that Execute to evolve it. Then shuffle your deck. And that is a free attack. That's pretty sweet. And then Draco, Draco Meteor Barrage. Flip a coin for each grass energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 80 damage for each head. And it's a one prize attacker. That's pretty cool. I don't think I have enough Alolan Executor GXs to make a deck. But that's a beautiful card. That's a beautiful card, and oh man, is that a beautiful card. So we're just going to take, sorry, we're just going to drop these guys down here. We're going to take one more look at this beauty, because um, wow, what a card to pull. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Leave a like if you guys were hyped about that pull, and let me know. What you guys have been pulling? Have you guys been able to complete your set? I'm way off. I have not been able to hardly pull anything. But um, I'm slowly I'm slowly gaining stuff. I'm slowly gaining stuff as I'm opening up more stuff. And I still have three-fourths of a booster box. So we'll see what we get out of that. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys Alola. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>